Hi and welcome to our latest article. This time we're looking at uh, what's new in HubSpot and HubSpot Video plus the ability to track recurring revenue. So first up is um, using video in HubSpot for sales and marketing. With HubSpot Video powered by Vidyard, you can add video to your blog posts, landing pages, website pages, and knowledge base articles. You can also create custom videos directly in HubSpot to share in your one-to-one -one sales emails or customer service tickets. This update comes to HubSpot Marketing Professional and Enterprise, HubSpot Sales Professional and Enterprise, and HubSpot Service Professional. Here's what we say about it. This update makes it easy to see a direct ROI from your video content, such as the amount of views on each video and understanding how long people watch each video and where they drop off. How it helps sales. We've been using the Vidyard Go Video extension for some time to easily create personalized videos with the ability to share your webcam and screen. The video update from HubSpot means we can now do that inside HubSpot CRM at the point we're drafting an email to send to a contact. Why is this good? Well, it gives you a different medium to use, helps with face-to-face -face contact, makes it easier for you to explain complex details instead of a lengthy email, and you get notified when your videos are watched, helping you prioritize the contacts that are most engaged. The same goes for customer service within HubSpot, where you can easily add videos into your one-to-one -one emails and support tickets. What's interesting here is that videos can easily be added into the knowledge part of the HubSpot Service Hub. And Service Hub is the part where your contacts can find answers to common questions to save you having to answer them manually. And that is uh, live chat and bots with AI. We'll come to that later. So how does this, um, how does HubSpot video help marketing? Well, with this update, you no longer have to upload videos to a third party such as YouTube, then embed the video in your pages or posts. You just upload directly to HubSpot, go to the file manager and select your video. What's really interesting is the ability to add calls to action and forms into your videos using the HubSpot CTA and forms tools. Then you can trigger automated activity using workflows based on how each person interacts with your videos. And by looking at video analytics, you can use the facts to know how to improve your videos, such as if the majority of people drop off after 30 seconds, but the video is a minute long, you can decide do you change at the point that you add CTAs or forms, or you can re-record videos uh, with different lengths for different audiences. When it comes to social sharing of videos, you should keep uploading videos direct to each social platform as this will help you get the best results. Watch this space for updates from HubSpot. Next up is tracking recurring revenue. When managing recurring services and products in HubSpot, analyze and track the projected value of a deal amount over time with the revenue analytics report. The revenue analytics report allows users to track how much revenue they're generating or losing during a specific time range to better understand the impact of renewals, upgrades, downgrades, and churns on revenue. This update comes to HubSpot Sales Enterprise. So what do we say about this? In the past, we've had to create separate deals for each piece of income, such as we might have sold a one-year subscription with payments coming in every month. With this update, it means that businesses with recurring revenue can more easily track their revenue based on recurring revenue amount, which is the total amount of recurring revenue associated with a deal. This is a monthly value. Recurring revenue deal type, the deal type. The available values for this property are new business, renewal, upgrade and downgrade. Recurring revenue inactive date which is the date when this specific amount of recurring revenue for the deal is no longer collected. And recurring revenue inactive reason, which is the reason why this specific recurring revenue amount is no longer collected. The available values are churned, renewal, upgrade and downgrade. To learn more about how the Tree Group and HubSpot can help you with business growth, sales, marketing and websites, start with our article on how inbound works. You can find it at our website, thetreegroup.co.uk. 
This article is part of our series on how does inbound work for automotive companies. In previous posts and videos, we've talked about generating new leads, how to increase website traffic, and how to make it easy to book meetings. Check out the latest articles at thetreegroup.co.uk slash news. Thanks for watching and check back again soon. Bye-bye.